Anybody want to have a look at a motor home? Today we're going to review a small camper van, the Devon. Devon Conversions. Devon have been making campers for almost 60 years and under the same family ownership for the last 25 years in County Durham. Today we're going to look at a 2018 Devon Firefly. Based on a Ford Custom Transit with a gross weight of 2,900 kilograms with a 2 litre TDCI 6 speed gearbox, air conditioning, cruise control and reversing camera. The Devon Firefly is 16 and a half feet long and nearly 8 feet high. And as we come along, we have where we put the fresh water in, and the fresh water tank holds 32 litres. The tank's situated underneath with a blue tap for the drain off. Further along the van is where we put the electric hookup in for the 240. To the rear of the van, with the two opening doors, we have the compartment for the cassette toilet to empty and also for the water for the flush system and then to the other side we have the gas locker which holds two 4.5 propane gas bottles. As we come round to the other side of the van it's fitted with a colour coded Fiamme awning and the waste tank situated under here which holds 27 litres. The drain off for the waste is round about here which is a grey tap and then we have the side habitation door. Do you want to go in? As you can see, we've got a passenger swivel seat as well as the driver swivel seat as well. Also, we have a nice dinette with two belted travelling seats. Okay. Both the seats make up into two single beds and the way you make that is to drop this down there is a catch under here that you pull which brings it down so far and then there's another catch here which takes it all the way along we marry everything up and the cushion goes in the back I will be honest it is a chore to make up For so keeping you warm at night the Devon uses a very economical Robesto diesel heater Here we have the main control panel of the Devon Firefly. So what we have is we have the battery select where we can either have it on car battery, off or the leisure battery. We have the pump on and off, the 12 volt fuses, the charger unit for when the 230 is plugged in for charging the leisure battery and also the 240 fuses. One thing I have noticed on this is there is no water level indicator to tell us how much water we've actually got in the fresh water tank. As we come to the back of the van, normally there's a privacy screen which is located here which can open out to separate the living area to the kitchen and toilet area. The customer that actually brought this van requested it to be taken out. Over here we have a three-way fridge which is used for electric, leisure battery and gas. We have the temperature gauge but also we've got the igniter there for lighting it on the gas. Above us we have a pop-up skylight with fly screen and blind and then we have a two burner gas hob which is really ideal for a camper van this size and also a cold tap feed. One thing I always look for in motorhomes is how easy it is to fix things and we do have a pressure pump 
underneath here which is easily accessed in case of any problems. And then to finish off at the back of the van we have the cassette toilet. Well, like I said before, it can be housed with a privacy screen. Like I said, the customer has requested for this to be taken out. Okay, the Devon Firefly, what do I think? Build quality, great build quality. Great cab, all the mod comms, fantastic base vehicle. I do like the separation, I like the dinette, um, and then also I like the kitchen area, three-way fridge, two hobs, which is plenty. Um, it, it, it's a good van. My downside is the beds, they're hard to make up. Um, the other thing as well, there's no water indicator on to tell me how much water I've got in my fresh water tank, but it's not a deal breaker because at the end of the day, we've only got one tap, so okay. But all in all, I do think it's a good day van.